Hey everybody, welcome back to Sounds Like a Drum, Kane's Independent Media Production. Today, we'd love to share with you a really versatile, really fun, really extremely muffled snare drum setup. I grew up in the 80s. I listened to a lot of music from the 70s, a lot of things that people call yacht rock now. It's very in, and one of the things that you hear in this style of music and other music from the time period is very tight, very punchy, and very upfront drum sounds that have a bit of a tone to them, but no sustain at all. When I watch some of these players perform in old videos, it looks like they're not hitting the drums that hard, but they're getting this really specific sound that I had no idea how to get out of a drum until I looked closer at some old photos. The discovery I made is that they were using pieces of cloth, either a bandana or an old t-shirt, something like that, but in a way that I had never seen before. Let's go ahead and demonstrate this at a medium tuning and then we'll show you what we did. Immediately, this evokes things like Steely Dan or the Eagles to me, and in some cases, this is actually how they did it. What we've done is we have sandwiched a bandana in between the drum head itself and the hoop. What this is getting us is similar to what we've done with bandanas in the past where we unrolled them on top of the drum, but in this fashion, the bandana itself is under tension as well as the drum head. There are some things about this setup that are not immediately intuitive. For instance, it's a round drum, it's a square piece of cloth, so you have to weave it around a little bit to keep it out of the way of the tension rods when you start to reinsert them after you've put the drum together. But the fun part about this is that at any tension, it's gonna give you a very punchy, very fat, very clear sound with plenty of snare wire response and some other things that we weren't expecting. Let's hear a little bit more at the medium tuning. One of the surprising things for us today in particular was that we realized that neither of us had ever tried out cross-sticking with this setup and shockingly good. Particularly with lower tuning, sometimes cross-stick can have a really challenging sound and it can become difficult to get a good clear articulation there. And because of all of the overtones and sustain getting wiped away in this manner, it's nice and punchy. The clarity in the cross-stick is afforded to us in this setup also versus using a bandana over the top, that we are still hitting the rim. If we had a bandana or a t-shirt over the whole drum, we'd be striking the cloth and removing that clarity. Another thing that we noticed about this setup is that because the bandana is also under tension and it's moving with the batter head itself, we get great rebound off of it. We can play rolls, we can play articulate little things and not run into that thing of it feeling like a pillow that's given us nothing back. Now let's crank it up a little bit and see what it sounds like in a high tuning. We've gone up pretty high here and the bandana is stretching along with the head as we raise the tension, similar to a felt strip on a bass drum head or something like that. Now we're moving into a space where it's almost a little bit choky, but it feels great to play. It's easy to play. It doesn't feel that much different than an unmuffled head, but the whole surface sounds pretty similar. It's still got dynamic range, snare response. It's super fun. It's also worth noting that versus other covering the whole head style muffling, the rim shot is actually still usable in this case and sounds pretty good.
Now for the part that I've been looking forward to, very, very low tuning. Over the course of all of these, I haven't made any adjustments to the snare side head, but in this case now, the batter is literally finger tight. It is barely on there. Because of this setup and the extra tension from the cloth underneath the rim like this, it still feels good to play and gets me as close as I could possibly get to what I think of as a great snom or baritone snare sound without actually having a drum of that size. The mass that we're adding to the batter head by putting this on there is giving us a lot of beef and a lot of slap in the backbeat. And we can even hit it like really, really hard. Maybe even with the butt of the stick, it's still gonna keep going. But the surprises are not over yet. We wanted to experiment with playing really quietly with this setup, maybe mixing cross stick with some ghost notes in the center. This behavior is virtually unachievable in a drum tune this low in any other method that I have ever used just purely because there would be wild overtones and uncomfortable feels there, and then when you move to the center of the head, it's gonna feel like it's finger tight, and in this case, it simply doesn't. And our favorite thing, as always, whatever piece of scrap cloth you have, t-shirt, bandana, whatever, you don't need to invest to experiment with this sound. All you need to do is take the rim off, put the cloth on, put it back, and you're off to the races. It would be very interesting for us to figure out what it does on the rest of the kit. I know that that's a thing that I've definitely seen. So if you like what you're hearing today and you're excited by this, do let us know because we can definitely go further down this rabbit hole. Also, it is worth mentioning that this is one of those sounds that at least for me evokes a certain era and a certain style. And I love those things because that's an opportunity to take a small part of a thing that I enjoy and inject it into other situations. This is another tool that could go to electronic music or R&B or funk music or anywhere you want to put it where you want to hear this kind of sound. All right, thank you for coming with us on this journey today. If you like what you're hearing, please follow the link below to the Patreon. See if there is a level there that is good for you to help us continue to make these videos. We're really enjoying it, and we would hope that you'd like to be part of that community there as well. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for all of our new videos, and do tell us if this is a thing that you've ever seen, that you've ever done, or what method you use to get a sound similar to this.